We put about this much borax in here. It's non-local, and um, it is. This it keeps is. Uh, insects and um, mold down. Is mm -hmm. our theory? That's what we're hoping for. We don't right. know how this stuff is gonna stand up to mold and cattail fluff or human hair or whatever hair really. I mean, mm -hmm. probably not pig hair, but something that's soft. Yeah. The major difference besides the ratios of um, clay to sand in the base coat and the final coat mm -hmm. is that we're putting lime in the final coat. So um, clay, sand, borax, um, some sort of filament. Um, cattail fluff is the best is what people say. I don't know. Um, and water. And we mix it to feel. And I'll show you what kind of consistency we're looking for. We used mm -hmm. the mixer and it wasn't worth it. Oh. Mixing oh, really? it by hand is better. Yes. It's, for me it's more meditative. Sure. And just that it's another level of the relationship with the earth that is our walls. So I'm going to make this sort of a slurry. And then um, I'm going to add the same last. And if you wanted to start putting the fluff. Yeah, that, and just kind of break it up. It doesn't have to be super fine, but the finer the better. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, bud. There's a couple of benefits of waiting to put the sand in. It mixes better. Is that, you think that's uh, good enough? Not too much? Um, no, nah, probably not. It probably needs to be mixed up a little bit. These buckets is five shovelfuls. So, um, we'll put two of those in there and then we'll do a couple of, just a couple more shovelfuls. Be without water. 